Brooke on All My Children, Julia Barr. And it, it all came back. You know, I, I could feel the pressure dropping and, and, and then... And then I had knots in my stomach, and uh, they said it was the, um, the landing gear that was retracting. So I tried to warn the passengers. I, I told them about 149. And the Emmy goes to... From all my children, Julia Barr. This is Julia Barr's second win in seven nominations for her role as Brooke English on All My Children, a part Julia has played since 1976. I have to tell you, in a recent interview, um, I said, oh, gee, there's so much excitement that probably even if they, if they don't say my name, I would run up on stage. So since they say my, said my name, I'm really glad that I didn't embarrass myself. Anyway, I just want to say a couple of very special thank yous. Um, thank you to all my children. where it has been my pleasure to work for more years than I thought I would ever hold any job. Um, thank you to our past producer, Francesca James, and to our current producer, Jeannie Diderio Burke, whose support has been unflagging. To our current writers, who seem to be giving Brooke a new boyfriend, which is good since she shot her last one. <laughs> Beautiful daughter, Allison. Thank you. Am I bo I'm bothering you? What, you? I mean, the humming. I didn't even notice. I'm usually off key. <laughs> I wouldn't know the difference. Baby doesn't seem to mind. I just don't like the silence. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't seem real. I don't know. I don't mean the crash. I mean everything else. Last night feels like a thousand years ago. Lucky? Well, physically. I know. Is he awake? Well, he's in and out every few minutes. Does he know about Maria? Uh, no, no, not, not yet. How long can we keep it that way? Until he demands the truth is... I'd like to take the baby for her once over. Well, she's already been checked. Just to be absolutely sure. It, it, it'll just be down the hall, four doors. Maria door. asked me to take care of this baby. I understand. I just want to make sure that there's no internal injuries. We'll bring her right back to you. Will you will you'll go with her? I won't let her out of my sight. Everything will be okay. She'll be all right. We'll take it. Okay. Okay. That a girl. Good girl. We'll get you back to your friend in no time, okay? Come on. Just take a quick look at her. All right. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. It'll be okay. Okay. Be back in a minute. Join me in a cup of coffee? Um, I really need to be here when Edmund wakes up. I'll bring you a cup. How do you, how do you take it? I don't remember. Yeah, I know. Me neither. Brooke! Brooke! Oh, honey! Honey, we were at the airport. We were waiting for your flight. And I got the message about you you switching planes. And then, and then all of a sudden there was this big crowd and everybody I'm was sorry. freaking I'm out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I heard so them scared. say something about losing contact. And it's I know right. that's it's what happened. It's all right, honey. Planes it's all right. Crash. I'm okay. I'm okay. I was afraid I was never going to see you. I'm fine. I'm fine. 
Jamie, he doesn't know, does he? I checked with Patrick's parents. He's at the beach with them. I forgot. Are you sure you're okay? <sighs> Doctor, can he take the truth now, or should we wait? I can't answer that question. Well, who can? Somebody has to make a decision. Mr. Gray's not in any immediate physical danger. Emotionally, it's hard to say. You know him better than I. Please, excuse me. He's just going to keep asking for Maria. And if all he gets is silence in response, then he's going to know that we're avoiding something. I should be the one to tell him. Brooke, I don't think it's appropriate that this comes from anyone but a family member. doesn't have anything to do with it, Dimitri. I mean, your relationship with Edmund is, is strained. Is strained or not, he's my brother. I know you love him. But I don't think that you can help him now. And you're sure that you can? Sure. But maybe I can. You, uh, you go ahead then, all right? If he needs me, I'm here. I'll let him know. going to say to Edmund? Oh, honey, I won't know till I, till I see him. But you're totally fried. How, how can you handle this? Because I've been there, Laura. When Tom told me that my little girl was gone, I wanted to die. But I didn't. And partly it was because I wasn't alone. I mean, I... I didn't have to guess what I was feeling. And when I looked in his eyes, I saw my pain. And I've been where Edmund is now. And I know he can survive this. And maybe if he hears it from me, he'll believe that. You are so brave. I want you to go home now, okay? I want you to get some rest. Please don't worry about me. Good grief. I'll be fine. Would you would you just tell Edmund that I'm Edmund's regaining consciousness. He's asking about his wife. Hmm. Who's going to handle that? I am. Rough. Anything I can do to help? You already did help. You saved his life. He's probably going to hate me for that. Well, for a while he might, but I think when he takes stock... You know, he's got a family. He's got... He's got two children, two little babies. You kept a family alive. anything. I'll be okay.
Where am I? You're in Pine Valley Hospital. What happened? There was an accident. But you're gonna be okay. The plane? We lost an engine. You okay? Yeah. Fine. I can't remember. You hit your head. Oh, I remember. <laughs> that was the engine. The plane was over water, and the pilot tried to land. There was a man. We got you out. And then the baby started to cry. Maddie? It's okay. She's okay. She's fine, I promise you. Maria told me to take her. She was in her infant seat. Maria had strapped her in. So we're safe. I got her out. The baby wasn't hurt. Maria? Maria's hurt? Edmund, she knew that you were out of danger, and she knew that the baby was... was safe. Where is Maria? When I told her that you and the baby were out of the plane, I could see in her eyes that... that she had a kind of peace. Where is Maria? And... The plane went down on a steep embankment, and Maria, she was trapped under a luggage rack. I got the baby out first. You got the and baby? And when I went back, Maria got out? I got the baby out first because that was what Maria wanted to do. Tell be. me you got Maria out. You know how you blacked out when the... When the plane crashed, I did too. Everybody else did too. It's 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 how our mind protects us. Oh, God. The plane was unstable and Maria. when I took the baby, I Maria. Listen, listen to me, listen, I got listen, my Maria. listen. She I got knew my that Maria. you were safe. She knew the baby was safe. I can't. You have to believe her. Anything that I can do. Nothing. Is there anybody you want me to call? Dimitri's outside. Do you want to see him? If you need anything, just call me, okay? Day or night, it doesn't matter.
okay? I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. For what? I just, I hate losing control. It would be a basket case if I were you. Well, I can't be a basket case because I have things to do. Well, now? Can I help? This is wrong. This is so wrong. Things are not supposed to happen like this. You know, I think you need to get something to eat before you do anything else. I have to go. Where? I have to go. I have to talk to you right away. I need your help. Stop I'm sorry. Just, I'm sorry. Me. I just I had nowhere else to go. What's wrong, Mr. Jamie? No, no. He said school. I had to see you because I figured if you and I, if we tell them the truth together, no, then they have to listen. Just a second. Just a second. Jane, give us a minute. Okay, come here. Sit down. What happened to you? What's wrong? Everything. Everything is no, wrong. Just keep rolling. Just all do right. it. No, all three. Right. All their tracks. Just give us your the public has to know. The public has to know what? What are Can't. you talking about? Four people could die. That's what I'm talking okay, about. I'm talking I knew that you would down. listen okay, to me. I knew you would help me. Start you have to help me. I, I'm sorry. I'm Brooke sorry. English is the big name in this business. She's dissolving right before her eyes. You don't cut you until I say cut. It You'll know how important nobody wants to deal with you. Yeah, I started to go home, but I thought, no, that's not going to do any good. Is ever right. I have to come and go you. tight and hold well, I had nowhere else okay. to go, basically. No, right. Kill the feet. Kill the feet. Okay. You hear right. me? Listen, I know. I know that if you if you hear this story from the whole from the top, then you'll know exactly why we have to do this. Hi. No, you'll know. You'll know. Jane Pratt. We met at the Women in Media Conference last month. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I know how this looks. Look, this is out of control. And if we don't stop them, we have to take this okay, to the fine, public. Fine, fine. Give me a minute. Give me a minute, okay? Jane, I'm sorry. Uh, I think you should cancel reschedule for another time. Of course. Okay? Okay? okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't Thank you for, for understanding. My office will be in touch about rescheduling, okay? Okay. I'll call you. Listen. Rusty, walk her out to her car, please. Come on. Come on. Let's go back to my office. No, 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 no. No. I, I, I want to do it here. I want to do it here for the cameras, okay? This could happen to anybody. Don't you understand that? It could happen to you. It could happen to you. Look, they, 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 they tried to, to, to put me in jail. They tried to put me away for telling the Who truth. They tried to put you away? The police. Look, I'm not crazy. I'm I mean, not crazy. They not tried crazy. to put me in jail, but... Why would they do that? Uh, uh, see, I agreed Why to a psychiatric evaluation. Brooke, 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 look at me. What did you do? I tried to warn innocent people is what I tried to do. Listen, relax, no. Relax. Listen, listen, listen to me, okay? okay? My only crime pad was that I survived and Transglobal doesn't want to... They don't want to hear that. The airline, what do you they don't want to deal with me. They, 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 they know something about the crime. They don't want to deal with me. See, I, I, I took... I took one of their planes back this afternoon. Uh, Why would you do that? Well, it's okay. It's all right because... Um, because Jim was with me. Jim Thomason, Who's Jim, Jim Thomason from the crash. Don't, see, see, we were on the plane and and and, and it started to happen again. Started it happen? started to happen again. Uh, that terrible noise. That terrible, terrible noise. <laughs> and uh, anyway, anyway, uh, it was like it was like that night. It was like that night, and it it all came back. It, you know, I, I could feel the pressure dropping, and, 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 then, and then I had knots in my stomach, and, and it all started to get lost. And then what, what they said, uh, they said it was the, um, the landing gear that was retracting. So I tried to warn the passengers. I, I told them about 149, and that flight attendant, she wouldn't let me go. <laughs> and, and, and Jim, he... He, he tried to defend me because, you know, he, he knew that I shouldn't be by myself. And then, can you believe us, we landed the plane on Derek Fry. He dragged me off the plane and then they, they took me to the psychiatric Brooke, ward at the would hospital. You, would you listen to me for a second? Huh? If Derek is involved, we should go back to the hospital and try to... Oh, no, no, I am not going back there, don't you understand? Listen, listen, if I go back there, 
That means that they win. They, they wanted to put me in the hospital. They wanted to say, Brooke English is crazy, so there's no reason to listen to her because she doesn't know what she's talking about. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Listen, they don't want, they don't, they don't want any more bad publicity. Brooke, I swear to you, nothing is going to happen to you. I'm going to come with you. We'll take Belinda and we'll show smooth no, everything. No, no, no! God, you sound like you're the head of the airlines. Innocent people died. Maria died. She's dead, you know. Transglobal, they don't want to deal with that. But I'm, I'm not going to go away. They don't want to deal That's with fine, me. That's fine, honey. Listen to me. You're obviously in no condition to deal with this right now, okay? Listen, if it gets out that I was forced to undergo a psychiatric evaluation, they're going to discredit me, they're going to use it against me. You have to help me now. You have to help me before it's too late. You do. is hiding something they are the airline is hiding. don't you something. believe me they, they are a show i promise you okay but to be fair for you to get on a plane again so soon it's it's nuts it's perfectly natural for you to panic i didn't panic the threat was real Listen, i just i need to know why they died why those people what if you can't find an acceptable answer what if you just have to accept fate that is the quintessential cop-out. Just blame fate. You know what? Jim is the only one. He's the only one who knows Brooke, because he was there. He's the only one. You need to talk to someone. A shrink? Maybe. A shrink or a... I don't need a what? shrink. It's not about grief. It's about an airline's getting away with murder. Jim knows. He does know. He was there. He can tell you. All right, everybody. Uh, that's it. We just knock off for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Tell him. Tell him about the noise. Tell him about the lies. Hey, it's over now. It's okay. It's okay. Whoever you are, you certainly got a knack for being in the right place. At the wrong time. I said that's it. Let's clear out. You had me scared to death the way you slipped out of that hospital. I had to see Tad. I knew that he'd help us, you know. But I can't do this by myself. I will. I will help He's you. He's going to help us expose Transglobal. I will do everything I can, I swear. But like I said, okay, if the, if the cops are involved, you have to go back to that hospital. No, all right? It's playing right into their hands. It's what they want. I will come with you. I'll no! Somebody about no! Getting your release. I am not going to go back there. Will you at least let me drive you home? That's all right. I'll drive her. Is that okay with you? I'll talk to you first thing tomorrow, okay? Come on, let's go. Brooke, I have to escort you back to the hospital. Derek. Look, until the doctors no. release you, you, they, you are still in their custody. Hey, she's already been evaluated. Mr. Thomas, hey, please don't back even here. off. Ready to go home? I thought that, uh... No, look, you need a nice long rest. I know, but what about Derek? No, Derek's on your side. We all are. So what do you say? You wanna go home? Yeah. Thank you. Listen, did you hear me before? Yes. What I was saying to Tad? I mean, I think I made a difference. I think I finally got through it. I think he gets it now. He's gonna help us. He's gonna help us change a lot of minds. I don't know what you said to Derek. Just a little common sense. I owe you. Uh, I have to make a list. No, you have to get some rest. No, I have a, I have a directory of people who I know can help, and if they're not going to listen yeah, to me... Yeah, we'll do that later. They're going to listen to these people. I'm going to call Jack. Brooke, stop it. A little pressure from the DA. Brooke, that is enough. What the hell are you doing? Stop it. I thought you were on my side. I am on your well, side. Then back off. Let it go, Brooke. And what am I supposed to do? Just forget about it? Just turn my back? 
You sold out. What? You sold out, didn't you? No, I didn't. How much? How many zeros did Miles Christopher dangle in front of you? What's the going rate for your conscience? I didn't take a dime, and you know it. You are checking out. Brooke, listen to me. You can smear Transglobal and the shrinks and the cops, the whole world if you want to, but it's not going to help you one bit. They don't care about anybody. This concern that they seem to have for the families and the relatives, it doesn't matter. It's just all a smokescreen. No, no. You're the one who's putting up the smokescreen. As long as you stay good and mad, then you don't have to face the truth. I know the truth. No, you're hiding from the truth. Now, with all due respect, ever since this crash, you have been hiding behind this David and Goliath thing you've got going. I'm not hiding. Don't you see what you're doing? As long as you keep fighting the airlines, then you don't have to deal with your own demons. Brooke. I know you are in pain. Whatever is inside you, you've got to let it out, or it's going to ruin your life. going to give in to fear or weakness because it's what they want and I am not going to give in to them. I'm not going to waste one more precious moment of my life looking back. I have too much to do. I'm not going to stay trapped in the past. And from now on, I am going to face each day head on and nobody Nobody is going to tell me how to live or what to feel ever again. <laughs>